Now let's go and run this simple example of aliasing in SQL Plus. What I've done is I've copied it into a notepad, and I'm simply going to copy and paste it into SQL Plus. And here we go. What we have is the name of the category, and then name of the parent category. So you can see the alternative rock, country folk, etc. are concerts, as in music. Baseball, basketball, is sports, ballet, dance, classical opera, arts and theatre, etc., etc. That's what I mean by parent category and subcategory. So let's go on. This is a more comprehensive version of the select statement syntax. Note, there is further syntax in the select statement. The full select statement syntax is enormous. We will get to that at a later stage. The parts we're really interested in at this stage are really just the select column expression from table. That's all we're interested in right now. Apart from the fact that an expression is a number or string calculator, such as a number is, is a calculation between two numbers, such as 1 times 2, or column times a value. And a string calculator is obviously such as a substring. Take a part out of a string or replace something in a string. You, you're basically doing an exercise on a column. A subquery. We will get on to subqueries later, but you can put subqueries into select statements. A subquery is really a query executed inside a query. In other words, a select statement executed within a select statement. Subqueries can go in all sorts of places. All I'm trying to express here is that an expression can also be a subquery. In other words, select statements can be what in computer science we call nested. We have syntax for the WHERE clause here and for the ORDER BY clause. The WHERE clause is used to filter. So, as I said before, we select all the data from the table. The WHERE clause is used to retrieve the records we want. In other words, filter out the records we don't want. Earlier, I was alluding to how you would find a single record with SQL, because SQL is really for retrieving groups of records, record sets. You could apply something in a WHERE clause that says, go and select from a table, for instance, the category, where a value is set to one particular thing, and theoretically, you could find a single record. Order by, the order by clause is simply sorting the output. So you would run the select, the WHERE clause would be applied to filter the data, and then the order by clause would be applied to the filtered data, or rows. And you would take those rows and order them in a certain fashion, by columns, expressions, positions, etc. There's a lot of other syntax in there that we don't really have to worry about at this point. All I'm trying to do is show you a slightly more complex version of the select statement syntax to introduce it to you in small pieces.